Welcome on everybody and this is the TC Trading Channel. Today we are talking about the TradingView News Screener and how to use that, okay? Where it is, all that great stuff. It should be a pretty simple and pretty short to the point video. First things first, if you don't have TradingView, if you're not familiar with this platform, there'll be a link to it down below in the video pinned comment and description box. Check that out, sign up for free. You don't have to get a paid version. We have the premium version, but you don't need to do that just, just yet, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, so here is like your home page of TradingView, right? You'll come to a page that looks like this. Next, you're gonna go to the news section at the top, okay? If I click on that news section at the top, nothing's going to actually happen. It's gonna open a drop down. Now I have more to dive into, okay? There's this Synapse section, sassy updates for time poor traders, okay? Click on that. And what it's gonna take you to is their Snaps page. Now, this is essentially going to give you like what you need to know, basic news, as they say, market news without the fluff, just to kind of keep you informed about what's going on in the stock market, the crypto markets, and all that great stuff, okay? So pretty straightforward uh, and good information here. I'm filming this video in late February, but again, this will apply to any time frame that you're looking at this um, really whenever. And there's a couple of good articles that you can dive into just like that and get a good feel. So for example, like NVIDIA reported earnings recently. So you might want to check in on this and just kind of see what's been going on. And it'll open the tab of the chart, the stock, and, you know, it'll kind of show you, you know, when we had some different articles come out on TradingView and how the stock has done since, and then more information and all that great stuff. You can subscribe to Snaps right here and it could be sent to your email every day for quick reads, super easy. And you can kind of dive deeper if, if you want on different kind of pieces of that news, right? So kind of cool, that's the snap section. Back to the news tab, news flow is where things get a bit more interesting. Okay, here we go, under news flow, they have now all, we're under all, right? So you can go to the snap section and that's kind of what we just looked at, or there's more stuff here. Okay, if I scroll down, now I've got under news, right? Now I've got a lot more potential financial and market related news that's coming out pretty much every minute, every hour, and you're going to get a lot of good stuff here. Now, if I want to kind of situate myself into just looking at crypto related news, I click on that and I can dive into that and that'll just give you only crypto news. There's stock news, only stock news. Uh, and then again, this is updated, you know, all the time. So it's going to kind of go um, through with what's recent and then kind of as you scroll down, it'll be older news and, and, and so forth, right? As you're looking at this. Let me get rid of this on the right-hand side so we have a bigger screen. Okay, so a lot of stuff here, okay? Now, if I dive deeper into this, right, there's all those different news flow features you have access to. And again, this is something that's pretty useful because if you're someone who um, doesn't want to pay for some of these other news streaming services and whatnot, and you don't need to be updated with like second by second news, the second it comes out, like this is gonna be, you know, enough in terms of understanding what's going on in the markets and, and so forth, okay? If I go deeper into this, there's different things you can look at. So essentially, you know, this asset class option is what we've just looked at. There's corporate news, insider trading information, press releases, financial statements, global news, different markets across the world, and then market analysis and news. So for example, if I want to go to like the insider trading section, click on that on the drop down, and now I'm going to get just news essentially that is set up to only provide me information on what's going on. So here's this 19 hours ago, Twilio has an insider sell, click on that uh, and we and they have kind of a summary right here and then they have the SEC filing that I can go ahead and check out as well, just like that. So super nice and, and super easy to, to get through um, each kind of section of this to get to what you need. But essentially, I mean, you don't even need to look at that filing, you know, unless you want to, um, but they're gonna give you the summary right here, right? So pretty cool to look at that and it's pretty easy to get to. Um, if I wanna go back, I can share this on different platforms, copy the link, all that cool stuff, which is nice when it comes down to it on TradingView. Here's press releases, so I can kind of get to you those press releases. This is more kind of, this could be during the during the market week, you know, when markets are open, this could be kind of, you know, fast paced. You can get a lot of stuff coming out of here, a lot of stuff that you may not care about and some stuff that maybe could move stocks and, and really probably more than maybe, it probably will move stocks, um, intraday and whatnot, right? Financial statements. So you have some of that information as well. But in a nutshell though, that is essentially the news section of TradingView, right? You can scroll down and you can get a lot more information here. There's a lot more 
as you guys kind of dive deeper, show more news. And this is just like an endless stream of, you know, unlimited news at your fingertips here on TradingView. And again, those links will be down below if you want to check it out. If you don't have an account already, we use the premium version. We've got some videos here on the channel um, showing you or kind of walking you through what you get with each version and um, if it's if it's something you are interested in, in going deeper. But thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.